Let me tell you this, Mr. Joe Owens. The Pakistani Muslim population of the UK is around 3%. Out of which, 85% are responsible for the rapes of white kids. Now, I would say that is a worrying number. I would say that's well out of proportion. Wouldn't you? 2011. So the most useful figures we have on this actually come from the government department, the CEOP. And the CEOP divide their group paedophiles into two types. Type 1, who are 50% Asian. And type 2, who are 100% white men, according to the CEOP reports. However, Quilliam chose to exclude type 2, therefore cutting out a load of white offenders, because type 2 offenders, according to them, cannot be defined as grooming gangs because there are no grooming tactics involved. But the thing is, is the CEOP never actually said this, and Quilliam's sources are still under question. So this all has to be put in context, first of all. Quilliam also chose to ignore the CEOP when they warned that these reports should not be taken as a national indicator of the ethnicity of any criminals, due to the small sample size in their reports. However, from CEOP reports in 2012, done across several police stations in England, we found 2,120 lone paedophiles, and 65 group paedophiles. That means that the group paedophiles make up 3% of the overall number. And what does this mean for us? Well, if you picture all cases of paedophiles like this, um, then only 3% are involved in group offences. And remember that grooming gangs are a subcategory of group offenders. We don't know exactly how many are involved, but if we take these figures, provided by the COP, we see that grooming gangs actually make up a tiny percentage of the overall number of paedophiles. So trying to categorise all Muslims in this way is subverting the data when actually they make up this tiny proportion of a proportion. And all of this matters because after the far-right terrorist Darren Osborne mowed down Muslims in front of a mosque in Finsbury Park, his wife said that in recent weeks he has become obsessed with Muslims, accusing them of all of being rapists and part of paedophile gangs. It has a huge impact on how people are seen in society. And to broad brush accuse a whole group of people with a crime as disgusting as this paints them in an extremely negative light. It's a classic scapegoating technique, and it's been used throughout history to associate cultures, religions and ethnicities with sexual crimes, and so to demean them in the public eye. So you see, the problem is that what Robinson says is not, in fact, a fact. It is, however, extremely dangerous for Muslims in this country. And it's a betrayal of victims of horrific sexual tortures who need these figures to be accurately reported. So just to be clear, even if you accept the Quilliam report at full face value, it does not say that 84% of paedophiles are Muslim. What I'm saying is when everyone says, look, there's, there's white men, that the groom girl, it's missing, white there's men. loads, loads. Bare this is statistically, there's more yeah. white men grooming girls online than there is any other, 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 other uh, colleagues.